The Breckenridge family was a very famous family in Kentucky during the 18 and 1900s specifically. Robert Jefferson Breckenridge, also known as Robert J. Breckenridge, was a politician and Presbyterian minister. Robert J. Breckenridge was born on March 8, 1800. He was born near Lexington, Kentucky, in a place called Cabell's Dale, Kentucky. He lived 71 years, living till December 27, 1871. Robert J. Breckenridge attended Union College and got his bachelor's in 1819, got a honorary master's from Princeton University in 1832, and got an honorary LLD from Jefferson College in 1847 and an LLD from Harvard University in 1862. Breckenridge had three wives throughout his life. He married Anne Preston in 1823 and she died in 1844, married Virginia Hart Shelby in 1847, she died in 1859, and married Margaret Faulkner White in 1868. Breckenridge's second wife, Virginia Hart Shelby, in fact, turned out to be his cousin, who was formerly married to Alfred Shelby, who was the son of Isaac Shelby, who was twice governor of Kentucky. Robert J. Breckenridge had several children, 14 to be exact, naming one of them after himself, Robert J. Breckenridge Jr. Robert J. Breckenridge's parents were John Breckenridge and Mary Hopkins Cabell. Robert J. Breckenridge is very famous for being a Kentucky State Representative and being a Superintendent of Public Education in Kentucky. In 1840, only one of every ten school-aged children in Kentucky had ever attended school. Breckenridge changed this as Superintendent of Public Education. By 1850, only one out of every ten school-aged children did not attend school. Breckenridge took a strange stance during the Civil War, being in support of abolition of slavery, however, simultaneously owning slaves. Breckenridge actually supported Abraham Lincoln for president in the election of 1860, even though his nephew was running for president against Abraham Lincoln. When the Civil War broke out, Breckenridge quickly became a supporter of the Union, not for its position against slavery, but for the sake of preserving the Union. This is because Breckenridge didn't support immediate emancipation of slaves, even though he did support abolition of slavery, he thought it should be a gradual process. In addition to this, Robert J. Breckenridge's son, Robert J. Breckenridge Jr., during the outbreak of the Civil War, sided with the Confederacy, actually becoming a Confederate States judge of Kentucky. After Robert J. Breckenridge's death in 1871, He's been remembered in several ways. One of those ways is in 1892, Breckenridge Hall, named for Breckenridge, was built as a dormitory for students of the Danville Theological Seminary. It has become a resident hall for upperclassmen students at Center College in Danville, which happens to be Breckenridge's nephew, John C. Breckenridge's alma mater. Breckenridge Hall was renovated in 1999 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. In addition to that, there was a Breckenridge Hall that was built on Moorhead State University's campus. Breckenridge Hall on Moorhead State University's campus was built in 1930, in which time Moorhead State University was known as Moorhead State Teachers College. Robert Jefferson Breckenridge lived 71 years and made a heavy impact on Kentucky.